everybody and welcome back to Yakuza 0. Last time we did a lot of side stuff and stuff I'm not exactly a fan of and stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna do some extra side stuff today and probably continue the story. But first, what are the envelopes? Ah, there we go. Before I start writing postcards, I gotta decide on pen name. <laughs> Goro Goro Go Angel of Darkness. <laughs> oh man. Let's go Goro 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 Chan. How about something catchy that still says it's me? Goro 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 Chan. It's got my name out of goes, and that's all I do. Perfect. Do you want to scribble over postcard to Dolce Kami's radio show? Yeah, let's go. So, what 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 will I write in about? Gotta be something that Dolce Camilla is gonna wanna read on the air. Let's read Performa. Pretend boyfriend, definitely. I can write about the time I actually pretend to be a stranger's boyfriend and mess with that. Let's see now. There we go. No. Hey, Yuki-chan, can I, get, can I get you to drop this postcard in the mail later? Huh? Isn't that the, for Dolce Camilla show? Can't you, can't you mail it yourself? I'm a little busy with this and that, Yuki-chan. Can't you do me a solid? Uh, oh, alright. I'll ma mail it for you. You're an angel, Yuki-chan. Appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. We'll see if your postcard gets picked. Hope they read my postcard on there. Better tune in to Dolce Camilla show next time. That will be later. Because right now... We have, we have something really important to do. I took the wrong, wrong button. Oh, I'm missing so much. Let's do Yuki real quick. Okay, ready for another round of talking? Yes, please. Wow, Yuki-chan. You've got those battle butterflies all sorted out, don't you? Well, it is just you, Majima-san. Hey, we'll have none of that, thanks. Alright, I'm the customer, you're the hostess. Same as always. Are you ready? Yes, of course. Welcome to Club Sunshine. Yuki, I mean customer. <laughs> we still ain't there. <laughs> We're working on it. Majima-san, thank you for your Hey, Yuki-chan, you're looking cute as ever, as ever today. <laughs> Yo, what's with the giggles? I'm trying to talk to you like a customer would. Sorry,マジマさんが急に私に可愛いなんて言うからおかしいやら嬉しいやらで。うん、interesting. <laughs> Well, whatever works. At least you're doing okay. When it's when it's me, you're practicing with. あ、そうですね。最初は話す相手がマジマさんでも少し緊張してたんですが、おかげさまで慣れてきました。あ、that's なにげないことですよ。最近何したとか、何食べたとか。あとは趣味の話とか。うん、オビス。いや、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ
So, the club's come quite a long way, hasn't it? And you've been here since the beginning to see it all change. Yes, that's right. I said that I'm still working for a few years. I'm still working for a few years. I'm still working for a few years. Yeah, remember when this place had three girls in it, including you? So tell me something. Why is a girl like you walk in a club like this anyway? So, so wa... Yeah, the last time I asked, you, you clumped up just like this. Maybe it's time you cleared the air. Uh, no shame in that. Eh? Eh? Okay. Really? In this day and age? Companies are practically hiring bobs bums of the street and you couldn't get a bite? So don't say that. すぐ緊張するから面接が苦手でみんなみたいに上手に嘘もつけないし。はあ、本当にダメですね、私。I'm <laughs> like I'm trying to think well, what to say here because like they were clueless. I don't know if that will actually make her happy but also honesty is a talent i don't think that will they were clueless letting someone like you slip through the cracks was a mistake yuki-chan those com full companies were clueless eh? look around you it's the, it's the times we live in everybody's dressed to the nines and lies and vanity trying to one up the competition but you don't do that you just put yourself out there the way you are honest uh, honest almost your fault I want to walk with people I can believe in. I'd hire an awkward girl who can't tell a lie over a bunch of smooth talking sake by any day of the week. I'm glad I managed to turn this around. Really? Yes. If not, I wouldn't be able to talk to people like this. Well then, I'm glad you got rejected too. <laughs> if you weren't here at the club, who knows what would have happened. <laughs> Man, this is so sweet. So, how did it happen? Imagine, I imagine you must have met Yudichan somehow, yeah? Yes. At that time, when I was in the middle of the night, Interesting. I wonder what possessed you to to roll up on you. あの頃は左と光るものを感じた。10年に1人の逸材だって。ヨダさん言ってましたけど。うん。ああ、I yeah. Nah, nah, I disagree. So, Yuki-chan, if you could get a normal day job, uh, normal day job now, would you still wanna go do that instead of a cabaret club? どうでしょう。ちょっと前までは辞めたい、辞めたいって思ってましたけど。ああ。今はまだしばらくはこのお店で頑張っていきたいって思ってるんです。Awesome. <laughs> I see. もちろん。いずれはまた就職活動して、OLを目指してもみたいですけどね。でもこのお店は居心地もいいし、毎日本当に勉強になることが多いので、もっとここで成長してからでもいいかなって。うん。Let's not Oh, excuse me. Let's not make her awkward, so... There we go. You never know, one of our clients could turn out to be a corporate manager. 
<laughs> if he likes you, he might offer you a job right there on the spot. <laughs> In manga. You also read manga. Good to know. Am I recording? Yes, I am. Yeah, this was not the right decision, was it? Hey, relax, Yuki-chan. Lay your best line on me. Oh man, you sound more nervous than the foreigner on our first day at the shady bar. <laughs> oh man, can't get all of them right. Alright, let's go the day. Good job. Now I'm getting sleepy all of a sudden. Now, now that I can relax. You're getting enough sleep at night, Yuki-chan? What? What? Oh, I see. A late night guest, eh? Well, now. What? Nothing, nothing. Just get your beauty sleep, Yuki-chan. Lack of sleep is bad for the skin, and it's doubly bad if you fall asleep on the job. Oh, hi. Mm-hmm. Yeah, nothing wrong with going out for a night on the town. Just don't overdo it, right? She's so adorable, it's crazy. Okay, I think we can call it a day though. Thank you for the lesson. Job thing. Good job, so let's see. Hey, that was a half that was halfway decent. You did pretty good, all things considered. Treat your customer just like that and you'll pull through. I understand. I hope I'll be able to do just as well when it's for you. Yeah, do your best. Awesome. Double level up, are you crazy? Man, Yuki, you are... You are popping off. Okay, we need to swap our cast a little bit. You need you need a break. You need a break. You need a break. Do you need a break? What are you good at? You're cute. If you don't have anyone else who can fill in for you, then... Uh, she's a... Particular. She's funny, so we kind of need funny right now. Because only Yuki is really funny from our current cast. Uh, we don't need more cute, we need like beauty and sexy. Mm, man, but you, you're useless when it comes to party and love. Let's hope if you level up, it's gonna get a bit better. Wait, one. How many sexy do we have? One. Okay, we have a decent amount. How many beauty? Okay. Let's go, Karumi. She might be a nice villain. Okay. Whew. Okay, this is gonna this is gonna be exciting. Oh boy, I, I don't know how this is gonna go. Hello, Club Sunshine, my favorite little ant farm. You all seem to be scuttling about as mindlessly as ever. Club Mouse is here, right? You're the one who dragged your ass to the nest. Wanna take a swing and see what happens? Ah, uh -huh. uh -huh. don't get cocky, little roach. I could crush this club under my foot anytime I feel like it. I'm looking forward to you giving that, that a try. We'll see who gets crushed. You insects, you're too dream big these days. No grip on reality. Oi. Answer me answer me this, Goro Majima. What is the most powerful thing in the world? Uh huh? It's money. You're a winner if you have money. And if you don't, you're a loser. And me, I have money. Lots of it. <laughs> Expensive liquor, great food, hot woman. If you have money, you can have anything. If I want customers, I can have... I can even pay for them! 
How do you think a piss poor cabaret club like you is going to win against what's in my wallet? Beats me. Won't know until we try, but you know, running a club takes more than, than, than the cash you put in it. You continue to annoy me, you fly. But you know what? I'm gonna really enjoy watching you worms squirm around on the ground, begging not to die. <laughs> Alright, let's do this then. Club Sunshine, we're open for business. Yeah! <laughs> That's great. Okay, he is looking for prefers cute and party. Mm. Yeah, you go. Uh, you prefer cute and love. You're bad at love. Oh boy. Yuki is the only one who can fill in this spot. Yes. Uh, that's a towel. Yeah, I know these things. I know these things. I know these things. Love and what? Cute. Man, I don't have any girls who can think cute. Like cute and love. Uh, beauty and talk. Yeah, here you go. Man, this table is not doing well. Mars money, right? No. Uh, he wants funny and. That's a guess, boss. Uh, let's give you someone else. Yeah, there you go. Be better. Uh, he wants love and funny. Wow, I am losing this. I guess you. Man, this is not going well. Uh, party and you. There we go, awesome. That's a menu. Menu. Uh, he wants tall and sexy. Oh, perfect. Oh, please. Uh, ladies of class, go. Man, I am falling behind. Ugh. Not good. Shit, hold on. Fuck! He wants love and what? Beauty. You can go take care of him? Jack, please. Uh... I I don't know why I did it right now, I should have waited a little bit. Wants to party and... Yeah, there you go. Man, he is way ahead of me. It's not good. 
Uh, once you get pump, the first funny. Uh, once love sexy. Oh, thank God this is, uh, makes it pause. Fuck, that's that straight. Check, check, please. Yeah, it was pretty bad then. Okay, I need, I need two more, come on. Yeah, he won. I, I lost this really bad man. Uh, okay, so he won Spumper than Funny. Pamper than sexy. Wow, there is literally no match. いいね。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ご延長はいかがでしょうか。ありがとうございました。お願いします。盛り上がるね。デビースグラス。ああ、いたすきやすくなかったもん。盛り上がってきた。Damn, I lost it really bad. <laughs> that was pathetic, totally pathetic, Club Sunshine. This is what happens when insects try to be fighters. Damn it! We lost the cabaret club battle. This is going to be. Uh, this isn't going to be good for our reputation. Ha! It's not like you had much of a reputation to start with. You guys can keep limping right along. I'll take you out as many times as you want until you're wiped out. When I'm done with you, you'll be just a stain on the wall. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. Bye. Was saying, but I think he was right about one thing. We still have one other chance. Let's challenge him again after we gain more strength. There's nothing else we can do after all. Yeah, we won't lose next time. Lost the cabaret. You and some fans more uh, from tonight's shift have been taken by upon. Try again once you once you're ready for a rematch. Okay, that was my mistake entirely, because I uh, underprepared. I definitely did underprepare for this, though. Mm. You like... Okay, I am going to farm up in the background. Um, so you guys, I I'll come back when I'm ready. Alright, let's change things up a bit and practice a date with a customer. Practice a date? Yeah, sometimes you'll go on a date with customers and come to the club together. You gotta be able to have a good time, so today we're gonna practice with karaoke. I see, I understand. I'm looking forward to it. Oh, uh, awesome. Are we doing interjections now? Let's see, I'll sing uh, X3 Sunshine. I feel awkward singing in front of people, so it really helps if you chimed in too. Yeah, sure. I love, I love this song. I haven't done karaoke go, in a while. Go, go. 
Yay! Shit, Yay! I forgot it's like this. Sorry, I was trying to focus because as soon as I tried speaking, I started missing. That was awesome. Uh, how much? Like 90 something, yeah. I'm missing a few. 89. Yeah, well, I'll accept it. You ain't held bad, Yuki chan. Got that song down to a T. <laughs> uh, it's because you helped me overcome my stage fright. Would you mind singing next? I would love to hear you sing. Yes! Yay, that's great. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. I love you. You love me. I missed the... Man, it's so fast. Step and go! There we go. <laughs> I missed a few of them. Come on, this is like 90 something. 93, 92? Hmm? Something like that? 95, let's go! I'm, I'm amazing at this. Karaoke King, let's go. Ha! <laughs> you like that? Pretty good, eh? It really was. You sound like a pro. <laughs> I'm a man of many talents. <laughs> that was cute. I like that. Entertain yourself here today. Today's practice was pretty good. Yes, thank you. Thanks to you, I got some tips on how to make karaoke more fun. Thank you mo very much, Majima san. Oh, yeah. Come on, 50. Yes. Man, Yuki, you're going to be an astonishing hostess one day. And I have one point left. Hey, yeah? You're with Club Sunshine, right? My name's Akina, can I walk at your club? Akina-chan, you seem like you'd be really popular at a club. <laughs> nice, another gold hostess. Oh well. Uh, let's go here and do the Dolce stuff. Dolce's on there! 
Okay, we don't care too much. Oh, he was hoping he reads the one from Goro Gorjon. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Yo, Dolce Kamesan. And yo, to you. I'm always looking forward to your show. Hey, thank you. The other day, I was accosted out of the blue on the street by a girl who wanted me to be her boyfriend. You got a head on, Goro 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 Chan? What a lady killer! After hearing her out, it turned out she needed me to pretend to be her boyfriend in, her, in front of her father. Oh, that took a quick turn. Like she wanted, uh, like she wanted, I pretend to be her boyfriend in front of her father. But he knew we were faking from the start. Guess there's no fooling a father. It made me realize how much magic there is in the bond between a father and his child. Are you trying to turn this into a heartwarming story now? Uh, P.S. Dolce Kamiya-san, are you good to your parents? Well, Goro 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 Chan, that must have been a hair-raising experience, meeting the father of a girl you just met in a role you were only pretending to be in, but that's the reality of parenthood. No matter what a child says or does, the parent can see right through it. Even in the dad of night, whoa, dad joke alert. As for me, my parents are still finding all the racy magazines I left in the house. It might be a while before I take care of them like a good son. Oh, it's time already. Too bad, too sad, but that's our show for today, folks. Alright then, make sure to tune in again. Goodbye and see you next time. Made my air, my own air with you. Yeah, I made it on there. I did too, Majima-san. Wow, that's amazing. I envy you. Told you I got this in the bag. I'm only getting warmed up. Awesome. I'm so happy about that. Okay, let's, let's ride. Complete 40. Oh, man. Let's write another story. Okay, let's think. Uh, man with strange... With a stranger's face. That would... Hmm. Taxing issue stadium. Jumper strut errand on the run. I... Courtship and crap. That feels like a story somebody would cover. I suppose I can write about Akatani, the guy who got his face changed. I'll leave the details vague. Let's see now. There we go. No. Hey Yuki-chan, can you deliver? <laughs> you're an angel, Yuki-chan, you're the best. Let's hope I get, uh, our postcard gets picked. Hope they read my postcard on there. Better tune in to Dolce Kamiya's next show. Cool, uh, that's all I wanted here. So, next time we're in the club, we'll do that again. But for now, we will go in, out into the city and do some side stuff, because there was some side stuff I didn't do last time. Anyways, I'll be right back. Hmm? Say, what's with you being so fluent in Japanese? Anyway, not a trace of the local kan Kansai dialect in your either. <laughs> I grew up in Tokyo. I got into this line of walk lab after seeing the beauty of the katana on display in the museums there. Tokyo? Still doesn't explain why you always talk like you are gi given a formal speech. I'm afraid it is merely a force of habit. Informal speech is something I have never gotten used to. No kidding. Welcome, Majimo san. I've been meaning to ask the funky sword style you used. What was that? It is called Tenon Rishin Ryu. It is said to have been practiced by several core members of the Shinsengumi who were active in Kyoto at the end of, an, of the Oda era. The Shinsengumi? There are many unknown aspects and I can I cannot claim to have recreated perfect day based only on reading old texts from that period. You're, you're one dedicated bastard. I guess that's why you're at the top of the weapons. Oh my god, he had a specific word in here. Huh? No weapon, nothing else. You should study everything. Maybe then, uh, then all agent work not up to me. I am sorry, Long Ha. So while I'm here, might as well. Uh, yeah, equipment search. He has a higher chance of finding what we need. Is there anything else? I've been meaning to ask you train anyone else in weapons? I never see anyone else around. Not at this time. What I have in the past, one of my former students now travels the world as my agent, seeking out various equipment and parts. Ah, yeah, what's he like? He's just as passionate about weapons as I am. 
His twin brother is also involved in the weapons business. Weapons dealing twins, huh? Not sure if that's a recipe for success or disaster. They come back to sudden body on occasion. I will introduce you if the timing works out. Two more guys as crazy about weapons as you, huh? <laughs> that ought to be interesting. I've been meaning to ask, you train anyone else? Okay. So, you not run out of conversations with them. Cool, cool, cool. What? <laughs> Hello? Oh, hi. Uh, how's it going? Yeah, thanks for calling me right away. Oh, in the future. What's that clunky ass bag you're swinging? You want to hear about my shoulder back phone? Uh, no. That's not what you're calling about. Uh huh, uh huh, okay, sorry. Back phone? Is that bag actually working as a phone? That's some shit, ain't it? Oh, alright. Uh, I get it. Well, uh, if you ever want to hear about it, you, you know you know what you call. Okay, bye. I don't have to. Huh. Man, why doesn't anyone appreciate the awesomeness of back phones? Don't they know how much uh, how much I had to beg for this thing? Good. Hey, buddy, were you just chatting on the phone through that chunky bag you got there? Button? Yes, exactly. Yes, yes. I was I was talking talking using this. That's pretty wild. Is it some kind of radio then? Oh no, not at all. It's a real phone. It's called a back phone. A bag phone? Who puts a phone in a bag? Hmm? Oh, really? You don't know? This is all the rage now. It's a fully transportable mobile phone made possible through state-of-the-art technology. From now on, people will be able to carry telephones with them all the time. You'll be able to connect with anyone, anytime and anywhere. A mobile telephone, eh? Crazy. But that's what, uh, that's the, uh, then what's the point of carrying a phone with you all the oh. times? Uh, you're not seeing the bigger picture. With this bad boy, you're not chained to your home or office. You could even turn a cafe into your workplace. You could be in touch with your friends and family at all times. I could call up my mom right now if I wanted. Uh, sure, I guess I could use an, uh, I could see using that. I knew you'd see the light. Uh, doesn't it make you want one? You could head to the store and get it to the right of the way. Get to the ride of the wave yeah. of the future. Yeah, right. I'm guessing that thing costs you an arm and a leg. Riding the future always comes with a tax. Actually, yeah, it's more expensive than I should even say. <sighs> Figured as much. I don't see the need. I'll stick to the payphones with the rest of uh, with the rest of the peasants. Hmm. But weren't you just about to enter a phone booth? Yeah, I was about to make a call. So I see. <laughs> Very well. I shall let you use the cutting edge of technology, my backbone, to replace a call. Whoa, you sure about that? Certainly. I want I want everyone to experience the future today. You need to understand uh, just what a back phone represents. Aren't I generous? A back phone, huh? Yeah, I guess uh, guy says it's state of the art. Yeah, I want to see what it's all about. Sure. <laughs> sure, let's see what the future holds. <laughs> Alright, I know you're excited, but the future is right here. Hang over my shoulder. Here you go. Uh, you're about to get a taste of tomorrow. Don't mind if I do. Huh? I ain't hearing anything. Really? Can I can I see it for a sec? Oh man, the battery must have died. I probably used it all when I took that call from a body. The battery is dead. Yeah, the thing about the future is that it really sucks the life out of today's batteries. Does it? Does it? Well, how long does it take to recharge? Mm. A mere eight hours. Yeah, that long? You only had the one conversation earlier, and that's all it takes to run it down to empty. That's the price you pay for being the vanguard of the times. It's always been that way. Technology's beauty is as fleeting and fragile as a cherry blossom. Right. Sounds like more of a hustle than it's worth. Well, seeing as how your your marvel of technology has gone silent, I guess I'll have to pass on your <laughs> offer. Thanks. Oh no no no! Wait, let's not be hasty. Now what? Uh, you can't just give up on your chance to cross the frontier of progress. It's just because it's out of power doesn't mean we can get get it back. Ya yeah, just told me it will take eight hours. I ain't got that kind of time kid. I'll be able to type my message out in Morse code before that thing came back. Well, it just so happened this thing can also use regular batteries to make mm. calls. So could you buy me a battery for it? I would uh, I I would think don't wait your carry them. Huh? What? Now I gotta run you errands? Don't be upset. For the price of a couple of batteries, you could be getting in touch with the future. <sighs> I do gotta admit that I'm curious. I'm sure you're a busy man, but 
so I'll wait right here for you. Take your time. Uh, by the way, my name's Idozuka. I promise you can use my back phone as long as you come back with a battery. All right, Majima, I'll be back when I can. I guess <laughs> if I'm ever by, don't. Kichote, Kichote. I can pop in and get the just get a battery. In the future, we're talking about. I do have one. Ah, uh, did you come back with a battery? I got battery, but do I hand it over? There we go. Yeah, I got you, battery. Let's get this back phone fired up. You hand over a battery. Thank you. You're about to witness the technology of the future. Come alive. Ow. In your head. Hey, you feeling right? Not getting the sense that you're up to this. I, I'm fine. Please don't mind me. Now is, is, the, is the time for you to experience the most technology today. Uh -huh. Hey, what's wrong? It's my shoulder. It, it hurts. That's what you get for sitting around that brick of a phone all, all the time. Well, I can't very well put state of that technology on the, the dirt ground, can I? Ah, my shoulder, it hurts. Nah. This guy did a real number on his shoulder. I guess I could find something that might heal him up a bit. Gotta do that before I bug him about this phone, I guess. Alright, just sit tight. I'll get you something to fix your shoulder up. <laughs> I'm being honest, this is real pain in the ass, but now I'm, I'm too damn invested. And when you get better, I I get to try it for sure. Sounds fair? That's promise I'll, I'll be happy to keep. Yes, you could use a healing drink. Do I have one? <laughs> I got something that might help his shoulders. Do you want to give it to him? Yeah, sure. Good. Here, try this. Oh, wow! My shoulder suddenly feels way better, thank you. And now, the moment you've been waiting for, finally, you can experience making a call on this wonder over the world. Hey, what the hell is that? What? Check this bag, crazy bag out. It's got a phone stuck to it. Wait just a moment, who are you guys? And where are you manners? <laughs> hey, let me let me take a look at that fancy bag over there. This isn't just a bag, it's a bag of phone. This is why you knuckle dragging gorillas can have nice things. Won't you call us asshole? Shut your yuppy yuppy mouth. Hi Damn. Decked him just like that. <laughs> Ouch, ouch, yeah. Hey, what's your damn problem? Huh? Who the fuck are you? This loser's buddy? I guess you could say that. You weren't thinking of waltzing up and taking a crack of at that state of the art technology while throwing a couple punches, were ya? You, you monkeys got no idea how delicate this shit is. And besides, I was first in line. What's this guy mouthing about? Let's shut him up. Yeah, you're in, you're in, you're in for it now, Cyclops. Cyclops, really? That's all you've got. Is that a knife? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> yes. Sit down. Oh. oh god. Oh god. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Easy. C Holy shit, this guy's a beast! Sorry to screw with you! Yeah, run off. Majima san, thank you yet again. I don't know how I can ever thank you for all you've done for me today. It's nothing, honestly. I hardly, bro I, hard I hardly broke a sweat. Now let's see that fancy bag. It's about them time. Uh, he probably broke it when he fell. Good. Hey, not getting a dial <gasps> done. What? But I made sure it was charged. Maybe when the uh, goofball knocked you on your ass, this finger the circuit knocked loose or something. Uh huh? Hmm. Maybe being at the c cutting edge, it delicately constructed. Oh no, my beautiful bag phone. <laughs> Well, I guess it just wasn't in the cards for me to use your phone. That's a lie for you. No way. This is personal now. Huh? Majima-san, 
You had me out when everyone else mocked me. You were even kind enough to buy me a battery and medicine. I can't let you walk away disappointed, disappointed after everything you've done for me. Listen, man. Machimasan, please come to the M store in Shofuku Fucho West a little later. I promise you, you will finally get to make a call in the, in the state of the art experience. Got it. Looking forward to that day. I'll be waiting out front. Okay, sounds good to me. Man, what a guy. Now I can say. It's you! Give him my mula back, you shithead. Hey, buddy, I'm flat broke again. What? Okay, this time I'm gonna be more careful. Let me just quickly have a snack. That's good. Shit! I was trying to pause. My 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 watch is going off. Uh, let's heal up. Woo! Shitter, 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 shitter. <gasps> I'm really close to that. Mm, I need more food. Ah, that was a fair exchange. Ah, uh, okay, hold on. This is not good. I'm gonna wait. Uh oh. Okay. Revenge, bitch! Ah, oh, easy! Wow! I didn't expect that! You're pretty good! No shit, Sherlock! Better be more careful when you pick uh, your victim uh -huh. next time. Huh? I guess you didn't notice that I was holding back this time. You'd be dead if I hadn't. <laughs> As if I'm so sure. Seriously, if you die, I can't shake you down again later, so you have to make sure you keep, uh, keep you alive. Yeah, they don't hold back next time, we'll see if the results are any different. Well, I'm done for today. I couldn't get more money, my money, so there's no point hanging around here. I'm going home. He's a dumbass, but strong. Gotta be on my toes in case I bump into him again. Mm. Noted. Do we want to go meet that guy? I think I'm gonna go meet that guy and then the episode there. This guy can wait. <laughs> hey, Majima-san, what took you so long? Ah, that bag. My mom bought me a new one. It's my new bag phone. Whoa, then that means your patience will finally be rewarded. The future is here, and with bag phones, pay phones will fade into obscurity. Majima-san, you said you want to give the future a shot, right? This is ta the time has finally come. Just dial the number of the person you want to talk to. Uh, yeah. What? What's wrong? I forgot who I want to call. <laughs> what? Majima-san? Are you, are you feeling alright? You're not pained on me, are you? There's nothing wrong with me, after all, that's screwing around. How am I supposed to remember? Hmm. 
I guess that's kind of my bad, isn't it? Well, if you ever need to use the phone of the future, I'll be here. I'm happy to let you use it anytime you want. Assuming it has oh. charge, that is. Will do. But man, I gotta say, this new technology stuff is fragile. That's the way things always start, isn't it? But this is only the beginning. I bet one day phones will be so light and convenient, everybody will be carrying one. Maybe they'll even do more than let the people talk to. Wouldn't it be cool if your phone could take pictures? You kidding me? If they put a camera on that thing, it'd break your damn back to carry it. Not to mention the film. If that's the price of progress, then I'll pay it gladly. Besides, I can always turn to you for help. <sighs> Give me a break, I'm done with this tech pads. <laughs> so what, you, you're like... Hey, Majima-san, my back has plenty of juice, so you can use it if you like. Ah, cool. Let's visit, uh, let's visit the old man and see if he has anything to teach us, and I think it will be a good way to end the episode. Uh, be right back. Hello, master. Majima. Oh. Excellent. Then let us see how you cope with these Kameki style moves. Are you ready, Majima? I am ready. So ready. The next secret is a Kameki assassin art. <laughs> Finally, some dangerous shit. Originally, there were no assassination techniques in the Kameki style, but I found some mentioned when studying some old documents tied to my family's history. Oh, one of my ancestors may have had an occupation he had to keep hidden. So you're gonna try to assassinate me, are ya? So, yeah. Just so. I doubt that a man of your fortitude would succumb to this. But stay, stay on your toes, nevertheless. Are you ready? Yes, I am. Okay. Then it's time to reveal my Kameki assassin arts. Oh. Actually forced me on the ground, A new move occurs to you during uh, your bow to the rocket. The moves lets you escape from the enemy grapple and launch counter attack. Ah. Your bout against Kameki is over, use your new move and more to beat Kameki. <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> Yeah. 
Oh, Jesus. Wow, that was cool. <laughs> there we go. I want to finish top on that. Awesome. So, you stood the Kameki assassin arts. I was hoping to knock you out at the very least. <sighs> it was touch and go there. Only got the one eye. So when you trip, uh, when you try to rip out the socket, I don't, I don't, I don't got many options. A true assassin will kill you using the least possible effort against a monocular foe. A single eye is a tempting target. Hell, I'll do the same. I must ask, Majima, what manner of counterattack was that? When I attempted to take you down, you threw me back in a way that... I, I, I know I'm doing the same voice as the other master, but I, I, the voice that this guy has is way more painful. Yeah. Well, you put me on the spot, so improvised. <laughs> oh, oh, so you invented the move right there and there. Ah, that I need technique wants a new name. Does it? Didn't feel like anything that special. Then allow me the honor. I shall call it... Frantic Fro. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, Snow Snyder Ply yeah. Majima? I just figured you'd be better at naming shit than me. It will do though. What's in a name? Focus instead of on building your strength. Now get out of here and continue your training. Do you have anything else to teach me? Yes, I'm ready. Come on. It's gonna make you vital arts. Another fancy fan's mm -hmm. name. The vital arts are at the core of our fighting style. The one with its signature attack is called the Tiger Drop. Ooh! Huh? So what's this Tiger Drop involved? As you can guess from the name, it pulls yeah. enough power to overwhelm even a Tiger. And wait, the rest you'll have to see for yourself. <laughs> you'll be up against a heavy hitting move here, mm -hmm. so you could end up with a serious injury. Are you ready, Majima? Yes. Yes, I'm ready. More than ready. Oh. I'm good to go. Let's test this tiger, tiger drop of yours. Drop of yours. I hope you do not come to regret those words now. It is time to unleash the Kameki Vital Arts. What the fuck? A new move occurs to you during your bout with Komeki. You can transition directly into an attack after being struck by an enemy. Oh, while well in heat mode, okay. Just say Yarrow. I need to remember to use the block button more often. Oh, come on. However, your power against Kameki is not over. Okay. Oh my god, how much health! <laughs> nice. 
man, I love the whole band. Mm, astonishing! Not even the tiger drop was enough for me to prevail. Bravo, my mm. Mm? Mm. What ails you? You sure you weren't pulling any punches there? Uh, that tiger drop was fierce, but your other attacks felt kind of feeble. <laughs> oh, you are half right. Half right? I'm even wrong, or I'm, uh, I'm even right or I'm wrong, man. Exert 10% of your energy on attacks and avoid fatal blows by spending the other 90% on your defense. But when the tiger loses patience, shoot to kill. I'm losing patience with your riddles myself. That is the secret to using the tiger drop. If you attack a tiger recklessly, you'll be done to shreds. Fight with caution this step. Then unleash a single devastating blow. Now I see, so your ancestors passed down the secrets to laying out tigers yeah. too. Nay, the tiger of his te teachings uh, represents a powerful opponent who threatens to overwhelm you. To trade on harm blows of a wild tiger would be a fool's errand indeed. Yeah, I've never met a tiger I want to get in the ring with. Only a damas would take one barehanded. Mm -hmm. Just so. The counterattack you unleashed after being hit, by the by, was rather effective. I was only trying to get some momentum back after eating one of those tiger drops of yours, and it just sorta of came to me. To conjure such an inspired technique in the heat of battle, summoning the necessary skill at the moment it was needed. I, I, it could only be called a revelation. <clears throat> I seem to be getting quite a few of these revelations when I fight you. Something you ain't telling me, old man. No, it signifies not by the quick wit and kind instincts. But the next challenge shall be your last Majma. But for now, get out there and continue my training. I hear. Ah, uh, get out there and continue my training. I hear. You. Just so, I will await your return. Awesome. Can we get the final training in? Majimayu. Yes, of course. Excellent. Now let us uh, let us see how you cope with the Kameki style moves. Are you ready, Majima? Yes. <laughs> the hell was that? You scared the living daylight out of me. You've been slacking off of your training. Ah, I see. I see, I see, come back here. I, I see how it is. Okay, well, honestly, I think this is going to be a wonderful spot to end it. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, uh, subscribe, and tell me down in the comments below what you thought. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye bye!